So back in the garage, uh, after the successful of the dyno day, where we finally cracked the front engine from fighting us all this time, uh, we finally the numbers we want. So the car, as he sits here now, he's ready for Santa Pod. Front engine's running fine, back engine's running fine, we're ready to go. Now at the end of the last video, I did say to you, I'm gonna, I've got a few bits to do, and one of them's gonna shock you, so it's a bit of a strange thing to do, but I think you'll fully understand when we do it. So today's video, if you've read the title, I'm gonna strip down the back engine. Even though it's running fine, even though it's ran the power we wanted it to do, with the result of the front engine having the the valve issue and the the you know the the sealing issue on the valve seat, we I want to make sure the back engine's been looked up, been looked over. Take them springs out the back engine, do a bit of modification on the cylinder head, just so when we do go drag racing, or when we start going out this year, I do not have any problems. It's kind of um, what can I say? Failure prevention. So to, to for have say three hours today taking the head off, a couple hours in the week to put it back on. It is worth doing that to make sure this car runs fine. We don't have no problems. We can turn up, we can drive three, three and a half hours to Santa Pod and not do one run and then go, back engine's got a compression fault. We can't do nothing about it. So, this is what we're gonna do. We're stripping the head off. Let's have a look. Let's get this repaired. Let's get it done. And let's get this car 110% so this year we can smash it, we can get out, we can finally get some seat time, we can finally run the slicks I've got, and we can start making some numbers and seeing where we get on. Let's start the time lapse, let's get this cylinder head off. that's the car stripped as you can see because a lot of people ask what it's like to work on the back engine as you can see all the back panel comes off all the x braces are removable they aren't had to remove it to move the head but if it was a point of having to take the engine out i could remove all the frame there's a bar here which can be removed lift the engine turn it slide it fully out so it's not too bad to work on so that's made it a little bit easy it took me about an hour and ten or so to take the head off it probably would have been easy to take the engine out but I just thought it's not worth the hassle. So then if we go over here, cylinder heads off, ready to go to um, Tom to be checked and, and have the valve springs taken out and some few bits of changes done to it. So yeah, so fingers crossed, we'll get it back together. And like I say, we've still got a bit of time before Santa pod testing. So let's just make sure the car is fully prepped, fully right and back together. So we have no issues so when we end up at Santa Pod. So as you can see, the cylinder head's off and it's ready to go to be inspected. So fingers crossed, um, there'll be no issues, no problems, we can all get sorted. So this is a test of this video. Because it's not a major piece of content, I'm going to put this as a midweek Wednesday upload. If you're following me, you'll know I do them on a Sunday. I'm going to see how I get a response from doing a video on a Wednesday and a Sunday to try and increase a bit of content, to try and get you a little bit more involved in what I'm doing because I have got some big projects coming up. Once this is on the, this is kind of ticked off and ready to you know, run for the year, I can kind of finish off some of the bits and pieces and get some other projects started. So I can start probably producing two videos a week. So let's see what response we get with that. So, to give a bit of taster of, of what's to come, the van, the bane of my life and the bane of Steve Backlund's life. It's, it'll make around 750 horsepower, quite a famous van. I'll introduce it probably on the next, next two or three videos. 
when we start boxing it off, getting it done, and can join us this year, our drag racing. Some other projects which I'll introduce later on. I've got a, a K24 smart car that I'm going to start building. I've got my Audi Quattro short wheelbase I want to start building. So plenty of content, plenty of bits and pieces to show you guys. So please tell your friends, like and subscribe, and let's join me with the journey of all these builds.